Okay, so now we're going to go through how to set up a sales tax item and then as well as sales tax groups. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go up here into your items list. And if you notice, if there, it's in its original order and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're going to have your sales tax items. Okay, so I have a couple of sales tax items set up here. Uh, you can see the, you know, for the, you have, can have a county tax, a city tax, a state tax. Um, but we're going to go ahead and build one together, okay? So the first thing is we're going to create a new sales tax item, and it's going to be for the state of Texas. Okay, and the rate is 6.0%, and it's going to be the state comptroller who we pay that to. Okay. So now let's just say on top of that we have the Austin sales tax. Okay, so I'm just going to go and edit this one. Austin sales tax, let's say, adds 1.25%. All right, and we pay that to the city of Austin. Okay, now we can also add, let's just say, a county tax. All right, so I'm going to add another one, sales tax item, and say Travis County tax. Okay, and it's 1%. Now, it might be that you pay all of these to the state comp comptroller, or let's just pretend that this one goes to the comptroller, okay? So, Because it might be that you pay all of them to the state comptroller, but you need to segregate out what is the Travis County tax versus what's the Austin tax versus what is the state tax, okay? So I'm going to say okay here. So I've got all three of those in there, but of course on an invoice, when you go into create an invoice, you can only choose one taxable item, right, down here. And you can see I have all of them there, but what I really need to do is I need to create a tax group, sales tax group, so that when I create the invoice, it automatically pulls, you know, 6% goes to the state, 1.25 goes to the city, and 1% goes to the county. So I'm going to go in and create a new item again. It's going to be a sales tax group, and we're going to just call it Texas Tax, for example. Okay, so we're going to use sales tax item of Austin sales tax item of Texas, and sales tax item of Travis County. Okay, gives me a total there, 8.25, that's right, that's how much I should be charging in this area. I say okay. Now when I go into create an invoice, all right, I can come in here, let's put in some inventory parts, some cabinet pulls, tell me I don't have enough on hand, but I'm just going to go ahead and sell them anyway. And let's see here, I'm going to choose now the Texas tax. Okay, so it's going to pull out the 8.25% and uh, the total comes through. So the total tax that's charged is correct. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Okay. Now when I go in and I go to my sales tax report up here under vendors and sales tax, my sales tax liability report. All right, I'm going to see here, let's see, for work order 129. So I'm going to modify this and do it for all dates, but I'm going to do it for number 129. Let's see what it pulls up here. Okay. Let's see, that's not going to work. Let's modify this, take away 129, and do it for all for now. Okay. So you can see here, uh, I have my $12,000 in sales tax for Austin. I have my $12,000 in sales tax for Travis County. And I have my $12,000 in sales tax for uh, the for Texas, you know, sales tax, okay? And then it shows over here now that I have 6% should be going to the Texas sales tax, I have 1% should be going to Travis County, and I have 1.25% should be going to Austin sales tax. Okay, so the total tax collected was 882 plus the 157, 
And if I go back and look at my invoice, it looks like that's the total tax collected on there. Um, 50 cents, right? Plus nine, three, one, one. Okay. So yeah, 103,950. It all adds up just correctly there. And um, then I know that I have my sales tax group set up the right way. So then going forward, once I have this set up, I don't need to worry about going in and making sure I have the right tax collected for each individual uh, area that I need to pay tax to because QuickBooks is going to calculate it for me.